Alright guys, it's the real comic book junkie and I'm back with another video. This one is for um, my good bud, uh, Simplify Comic Guy, his uh, 4th of July contest. Um, please go check his channel out. I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. Um, just a super nice guy. Just an all-around, genuine, nice guy who loves giving to the community. Um, somebody that I think deserves a lot more subs than he has. Um, he just does it for the love of comics and to make people happy. Um, he says he's a true fan of mine, but in reality, I'm a true fan of his. Um, I wish I could, you know, meet him in person. Because he's just one of them kind of guys that you get to sit around, shoot the shit with, talk comics, and have just, you know, a good time with. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into his contest. Um, like I said, guys, I don't do these contests for um, the prizes. I do it mainly to show support. And um, if I can help a channel get a few more subscribers or, you know, get some more people to view their channel. If, if I can do that, that's prize enough for me so please go check out simplify comic guy vince he's a great guy i'm sure you know you're sub to him but if you're not please go check his channel out he had um from what i can remember three uh three things that you had to do in order to enter this contest first you had to be sub to him i've been sub to him for a while just great guy just go check him out guys um i can't say this enough um, second of all, show your most patriotic comic, um, and then, uh, tell a memorable, um, 4th of July story, because, you know, it's a 4th of July, uh, it's a 4th of July, um, contest. So, what I have here is, this here is the flag that was on my dad's grave, um, he served in the Air Force, um, he passed when I was 15 years old, so, you know, and I'm 45, so he's been gone out of my life for like 30 years, and it just seems like yesterday, and, uh, I remember as a kid, we went and saw Star Wars in the theater, the original Star Wars, and I was, it came out in 77, so I had to be 6 or 7 years old, um, but I just remember going to a toy store called Play World here in, uh, Florida, and, uh, one of my fond memories of my dad was just him telling me, just, we walked into Play World and they had a big old end display, like an end cap. Just a big old display of figures. He said, grab one of each character. So I, I mean, just, I miss my dad. And, uh, so I feel a little patriotic, so I pulled out his flag that they put on his, um, his casket. I have it in a nice little wooden frame. I keep it in my closet so it doesn't get all messed up. But I figured I'd break it out for this since it's 4th of July. And uh, also I have out my very first comic book. Um, the very first comic book that I've ever received. This is not the original one. This is I, I've rebought it since then. But, um, yeah, you know, my, my when I went to school I was in the 3rd grade. And my teacher, she put comic books in the boys' stockings. And she put like little Barbie dolls or something like that in the girls' stocking. And, uh... I remember walking into my class and seeing my, my stocking that said D. James. And I just like, I ran over to that stocking. I saw that comic book and I never put it down. So, it's a cap book. You know, it may not have the most patriotic cover, but it's just great Captain America goodness. Um, so, I figured I'd show that. But, you know me being the junkie, that I can't just show one book. I have to show multiple books. So what I did was, is I went through some of my comics, and I pulled out some more comics. Um, I know my boy Vince. Um, if you guys didn't know, he served this wonderful country. Um, so that's why he's having like a, a themed, um, uh, a themed contest, 4th of July. But what I did was, is I went in my boxes, and I dug out, any comic book that I could find that was Marine Corps related. So, because I know my boy was in the Marines. 
So what I did was, I went through and I dug out some uh, some Marine comics just to show you guys. Um, nothing patriotic about these comics, just the fact that it's the fighting Marines or Marines related. And I know Vince was in the Marines, and I'm sure he'd get a kick out of seeing some of these old classics, uh, Silver Age books, Bronze Age books. So I went ahead and whipped them out. Here we got Fighting Marines number 171. And then we have Fighting Marines 147. Um, I love war comics. They're great. Here's Fighting Marines number... I don't even know what number it is. There's, you know, just some different, different covers. Here's another Fighting Marines cover. I figured Vince would love seeing these. Here's another Fighting Marines 144. I mean, they're not in the best condition. But, hey, they're war comics. You know, these... It's funny because... Here's another Fighting Marine... Or Marine War Heroes here. Um, the one comics that seem to get beat up... The, or the ones that are harder to find and in, in better condition... Um, you would think would be superhero books, right? No, it's actually... It seems like um, the comics that were uh, war-based or, you know you know, war comics and stuff like that, like Unknown Soldier, Sergeant Rock, those kind of comics seem like they got beat up a little bit more over the years and then, like, normal superhero books. Um, here's another Fighting Marines. Here's another one. Number 149. And then I have a couple classic, uh, Golden Age, not necessarily, uh, Marine related, but they're two of my oldest war comics. And uh, here's uh, Soldier War Soldier Comics number eight. I just love that cover. The reds are red, you know, the yellows are yellow, and it's still in relatively good shape. I mean, there's no major spine damage on this comic, I mean, a little wear and tear, but. It's a ten cent cover price, and then here's another one of my favorites. Here's another uh, battle stories, uh, a faucet comic book. Uh, but look at that number eight. Look at that cover. All right, but I'll show you know I'll leave those up. Um, but my favorite. Most memorable 4th of July um, has to be when um, I asked my I asked Jessica to marry me. Um, I asked her to marry me. It was probably in May, and then our very first our very first 4th of July together as like an official like getting married couple was that same year. In uh, her parents live in a nice neighborhood. And, uh, the neighborhood, um, had, uh, its own private, uh, 4th of July fireworks show. And I can just remember sitting on the golf course with my wife, what well, time, my, you know, my fiancé. And just her sitting between my legs and me with my arms around her, with my head on her shoulder, and just, and just watching the fireworks over the golf course and just, you know, laying on a blanket and, and just... Knowing that that was the woman I'm going to spend the rest of my life with was just an awesome moment because it just the fireworks just like signified like the love that we had for each other and uh, that love's still going strong. Um, we've been together 12 years, so that's my most memorable Fourth of July moment was uh, the Fourth of July right after I proposed to my wife and uh, just the fireworks and. And all that just seemed right at the moment. Um, just spending the, spending the day with her and the night with her was just a really special time for me. Um, one that I'll never forget. And uh, But that's my uh, most memorable moment. Um, a little tidbit about my dad who served in the Air Force. Um, there's his flag. There's my first Captain America. My first comic book ever was a Captain America book. And I showed some... You know, bronze, silver, and golden age uh, war books um, highlighting the Marines for my boy Vince. Anyways, guys, it's almost 10 minutes long. Go check his channel out. He's a great guy. 
Um, I'll leave a link to his channel below. Go sub him. Go enter his contest. Um, just, just a great guy. Anyways, guys, it's the real comic book junkie. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, thumbs up, thumbs down. It doesn't matter to me. Um, check out my live comic book stream on Friday nights uh, at about 11.30. This week, I might switch it up a little bit and have it on a Thursday night. We'll see. But remember, guys, collect comics, sub each other, and let's have fun. It's a junkie, and I'm out.